Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about raster scan systems, one of the important topic in computer graphics. So before explaining what is a raster scan system, you need to understand what is a raster picture or what is a process of scan conversion, right? So you can see here, raster scan system means they will produce the image in the form of pixels. The process of producing the image in the form of pixels is known as scan conversion. So pixel is the smallest unit of the image. Here you can see this rectangular boxes, each rectangular boxes represent a pixel. So in this example, I am drawing, I am constructing an image of a character C. So to construct the image of the character C, I'm going to intensify only the pixel parts that are necessary to draw this image. Here I am going to intensify only 5 pixels to draw this character C. So what I'm trying to say is raster scan system, they will produce the image in the form of pixels, right? And the process of producing the image in the form of pixels is known as scan conversion. Now. I'm going to discuss how a raster scan system is going to construct any image in detail the whole process I'm going to discuss now I hope you and you understood uh, what is a scan conversion and what is a raster scan system format raster scan system produces the picture in the form of pixels right see so uh, if you take a any graphical image that graphical image can be produced by a computer you know that I'm going to use a computer to produce the graphical image if I say a computer the main unit of the computer will be you can see here the main unit of the computer will be CPU system memory uh, your devices and a monitor but in a raster scan system that means in a system that is used to construct the graphical image along with the CPU I'm going to use some special purpose processor and that special purpose processor is also called as video controller or display controller. So in ordinary computers, I'm not going to use this video controller or display controller. Mainly when you are using your computer to draw the graphical images, you are going to use this extra processor that is a special purpose, special purpose processor that is a video controller. You can see IO devices means what? our input and output devices, the keyboard, mouse, right, those IO devices, I'm going to give the input, the input will be passed to the CPU, right, uh, it will be processed and it will again uh, displayed in the monitor, but here, uh, the extra component is a video controller, right, why I'm going to use a video controller, those things we will see now, right. If you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section, right? So, here what I am trying to say is, I am using an extra component along with the CPU that is a special purpose processor along with the CPU to construct the graphics. What is that component? That is a video controller. Now we will see. Here, the frame buffer can be anywhere in the system memory. Listen carefully. Now, first of all, what is a frame buffer? What is a frame buffer means? See, here the frame buffer stores the pixel information and also the color information of the particular pixel so frame buffer tells in which or in which parts you need to intensify in which parts you need to intensify hope you are understanding here if you number these pixels like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 if you number these pixels frame buffer stores the values right yeah, 7 and 8. See, why? Uh, assume that this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8. 7 and 8 position is going to be stored in the frame buffer. That means, uh, while uh, by seeing the frame buffer, you can understand that the position 7 and 8 needs to be intensified. And also, the color information of that particular pixel, here the red color. Alright, that color information is also stored in the frame buffer. Hope you are understanding. So frame buffer stores the particular pixel informations and also the color 
of that particular pixel in that particular spot hope you are understanding right so that frame buffer can be anywhere in the system memory so the frame buffer can be anywhere in the system memory video controller can access the system memory why why video controller can access the system memory means video controller needs to uh, display the image in the form of the pixels that's why video controller right should uh, access should have the access to your pixels it is the task of the video controller uh, to identify the pixels and to plot the particular image hope you are understanding see right the video controller access the frame buffer to refresh the screen now you understood right the frame buffer stores the pixel information sorry the frame buffer stores the pixel information and that pixel information can be accessed by video controller right hope you are understanding guys and also along with the video controller raster system can employ other processors also like coprocessors accelerators but in this uh, video i am concentrating more on video controller hope you are understanding now see what is a video controller right so this is the diagram of the uh, actual uh, uh, organization of the video controller so see here the figure below shows a commonly used organization for raster system first of all a fixed area of the system memory is reserved for the frame buffer and the video controller is given direct access to the frame buffer memory i already told you the frame buffer is there in the system memory whatever the details that are stored in the frame buffer that means the pixel details will be stored in the frame buffer uh, that can be accessed by the video controller see frame buffer can be accessed by the video controller and frame buffer locations and the corresponding screen positions are represent represent are referenced in the cartesian coordinates very very important i told you frame buffer stores the pixel information or pixel coordinates how how means here i'm going to use a cartesian two dimensional cartesian cartesian reference frame with the origin at the lower part of the left screen corner see here this is x axis this is y axis you can identify any pixels right here for example x value is 0 y value is 0 so your pixel will be at 0 comma 0 suppose if x value is 1 y value is 1 you can identify the pixel position as 1 comma 1 hope you are getting guys right see so frame buffer locations and the corresponding screen positions are referenced in cartesian coordinates i told you how i am going to refer this uh, coordinate means for example you have to intensify the pixel 1 comma 2 means x value will be 1 y value will be 2 hope you are getting suppose if you want to uh, choose a pixel 3 comma 3 means x value will be 3 and y value will be 3 like that some variable like right hope you are getting next in an application that means in a user program whatever the graphics program you are right right we use the commands within a graphics software package to set the coordinate position for displayed objects relative to the origin of the coordinate system what i'm trying to say is you can write a program to select the particular position of the pixels in the respective coordinates it's your choice you can write a program you can choose any of the coordinates you can choose any of the coordinates i told you x value can be anything y value can be anything based on that you can select the pixels you can write a graphic program for that it's your choice to select any coordinates right the coordinate origin is referenced at the lower left corner of a screen display area by the software commands right if you want you can uh, choose the right uh, origin anywhere but by default in most of the cases the origin will be here that is lower left corner lower left screen corner but if you want you can choose anywhere you can choose your origin anywhere in your by writing the program you can do that right hope you are getting guys so 
now you understood how to select any particular pixel position in this particular Cartesian frame right see the screen surface is then represented as the first quadrant of a two dimensional system with positive x and y values increasing from left to right and bottom of the screen to the top rep respectively that means see starting from 0 this is the lowest value up to 0 to x max x max means maximum value of x here 0 to y max y max means what maximum value of y you can start uh, you can set the screen surface like this hope you are getting starting from 0 to x max 0 to y max based on these values based on this range you can select the pixels x max when value you can give anything right it depends on you guys and y max also it depends on you any value you can give hope you are getting pixel positions are then assigned integer x values that ranges from 0 to x max across the screen left to right and the integer y values that vary from 0 to y max bottom to top so y values you will always consider from bottom to top x values you always consider from left to right left to right hope you are getting any value you can take for example assume that x max value is 10 your x value should be between 1 to 10 if a uh, y max value is 20, your y, va y value should be between 20, 1 to 20. Understanding guys? For example, x, x comma y is equal to 3 comma 10. 3 comma 10 means, right? x value is 3, y value is 10. Based on that, you can particularly plot a point in this Cartesian, right? Frame. Getting guys? So, value you can give from 0 to x max and 0, 0 to y max. x value always moves from left to right. y value always moves from top to bottom. Oh, sorry, sorry, bottom to top. Now, the working, the working of the video controller. The working of the video controller, I am going to explain. Right? Very simple. See here. Two registers are used to store the coordinate values of the screen pixels. How many registers? Because if I say a screen coordinate, how many coordinates are there? X and Y. X and Y coordinates are there. Right? Hope you are getting guys. So, two registers are used. You can see X register and Y register. X register is used to store the X value. Y register is used to store the Y value getting guys from the frame buffer it will take and it will use these registers to store the values initially initially in starting at starting initially the x register is set to zero the x register is set to zero means in the cartesian product uh, sorry in the cartesian frame you can see this position x will be set to zero and y y and the y value in the y register is set to the value for the top scan line top scan line means see wait so y value will be here that is 0 x value will be here see how it works means first line first it will take the first line first pixel second pixel in the first line third pixel in the first line fourth pixel in the first line fifth pixel in the first line next it will move to the second line first pixel in the second line second pixel in the second line third pixel in the second line fourth pixel in the second line fifth pixel in the second line see from top to bottom it will cover all the pixels initially x value will set to the top line y value will be zero hope you are understanding guys right now the contents of the frame buffer at this pixel position are then retrieved and used to set the intensity of the CRT. I already told you the particular pixel will be intensified. Intensified means you will pass the power to that particular coordinate. Then it will be glow. It will be pixel will be glowed. Pixel will be glowed in that particular screen position. Getting guys? Hope you are understanding. 
see i already explained initially the x value will be what uh, one that is the top line next it is incremented by one and the process is repeated for the next pixel on the top scan scan line i already explained that that means first pixel next second pixel next third pixel of the first line fourth pixel of the first line fifth pixel of the first line next second line next third line next fourth line like that line by line how it will cover all the pixels from left to right direction see this procedure continues for each pixel along the top scan line hope you are getting after the last pixel on the top scan line has been processed the x register is reset to zero and y register is set to the value for the next scan line down from top down from the top of the screen hope you are getting each line will be repeated each line will be repeated see don't get confused first x value will be zero y value will be in the tops uh, top line see first pixel right next x value will be incremented it will come to one again second pixel see third pixel fourth pixel one line is completed next second line all the pixels third line all the pixels like that the process will takes place and one more thing here see here these pixels won't get intensified only this pixel will intensify because i need to draw the character c only the selected pixels will be intensified right hope you are understanding guys it's a very simple logic right so after cycling through all pixels along the bottom scan line so from top to bottom it should finish all the scan line the video controller resets the registers to the first pixel position on the top scan line and the refresh process starts over again the process repeats from first line first scan line what you are getting right if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section now what are the advantages of video controller so why we have to use a video controller you can ask sir anyway cpu was there so we can we should have given the access to the cpu directly to the frame buffer no we didn't do like that right we frame buffer has given access for the video controller video controller can access the frame buffer instead of cpu why why we have to do like that see what are the advantages see here for various application the video controller can read two pixel values from different memory areas on different refresh cycles main imp uh, one important thing here is uh, the to reduce the load of the cpu i'm going to give the right video controller some responsibility hope you are understanding so i don't want my cpu to get overloaded instead of that uh, i can use the video controller for retrieving the pixels and to plot the image in the uh, raster screen right so this provides a fast mechanism for generating real time animations obviously if you use a, especially to draw the real time images, images the time the time slap will be very less right so at that time we can use a video controller to provide a fast mechanisms because it can di directly fetch the particular value from different memory areas and different refresh cycles and another video controller task is the transformation of block of pixels so that screen areas can be enlarged reduced or moved from one location to another during refresh cycles so video controller uh, along with plotting the pixels it can reduce or it can enlarge uh, it can change the script, uh, pixel sizes it is also possible in addition the video controller often contains a lookup table so that the pixel values in the frame buffer are used to access the lookup table that means so video controller is going to maintain the table for example first pixel value some value second pixel some value along with the color information directly you can search any pixel you want you can move you can select any information you want of any pixel that is the advantage because table in a table contains all the pixel values right you can select uh, any coordinate value without any problem it uh, the fast it, it is a fast fast processing is possible for the uh, possible fast processing is possible right 
and one more important thing uh, some systems are designed to allow the video controller to fix the frame buffer image with an input image from a television camera or other input device that means if you want to mix some two or three images it is also possible by using a sorry by using a video controller yes so you can mix two or more images one is from your mouse or a keyboard uh, one is from your video controller the, the you can mix the two images uh, one image can be from a camera or one image can be a frame buffer if you want you can mix the two images by the help of the video controller that is also a main advantage of the video controller getting guys so video controller is mainly used to take the pixels and plot that pixels in a cartesian frame to draw a particular graphics image so that's it guys hope you understood the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video